When they're not carrying cargo, ships need to carry ballast water to maintain stability and structural integrity. But this ballast water can contain tiny aquatic organisms which can cause major environmental damage when transported across the world. The spread of invasive species in ships' ballast water has been recognised as one of the greatest threats to the ecological and economic well-being of the entire planet. IMO is helping to address this threat through its Ballast Water Management Convention, which requires all ships to have certified ballast water management procedures in place. But like all international measures, the Ballast Water Management Convention only has teeth if it is effectively implemented and enforced which makes new demands of administrations, the industry and inspectors. IMO is addressing this too. Through the Globalist Partnerships Programme, a project run jointly with the Global Environment Facility and the UN Development Programme, IMO is conducting a series of in-depth training exercises designed to ensure all concerned have the skills and understanding they need to enforce this vital safeguard for the marine environment. One recent exercise brought together scientific experts, port state control inspectors and marine biologists from various countries to Turkey. It was a chance not only to undergo training, but also to understand the possible challenges involved in implementing an enforcement regime for the Ballast Water Management Convention. The main goal of this uh, training is uh, actually that the, uh, they would understand how to conduct ballast water sampling as the part of compliant mo compliance monitoring and enforcement process uh, of the enforcement of the Ballast Water Management Convention. For the inspectors, sampling ballast water represents a whole new area of expertise. This training is a very important subject because port state control needs to take on a completely new field of work which is related to biological aspects. This is a new environment for them and we'd like to take them to that point that they believe they can do at least an indicative analysis on board of a vessel, although it has biological components they never worked with before. And there are concerns within the industry too. The, the major concern about the shipping industry would be that our checks as port state controllers that might delay the vessel. While it's generally expected that most port state control requirements could be concluded without sampling and analysis, it's important that inspectors have the skills and expertise they need to carry out accurate and precise sampling and to properly understand and assess the results if sampling and analysis cannot be avoided. There is concerns in the shipping industry and also in port state control regarding the precision of sampling and the representativeness of sampling and also the precision of sample processing. We have found methods to do that and to come to a certain level of statistically justified data. One key element that was repeatedly stressed during the exercise was the availability of advanced tools that are usable in the field and which don't need to be operated by scientific experts. We try to find methods which can be applied by port state control officers to process samples that you do not need to have a biological PhD to operate certain tools. So these tools are more technically oriented that almost anybody can operate them. They are simple to use, efficient and time efficient also, especially for the indicative analysis of samples. The exercise in Turkey was part of a global training strategy being implemented by IMO through the Globalis project to equip inspectors in the field with the skills they need to ensure the Ballast Water Management Convention can both protect the environment and allow shipping to continue to serve global trade effectively. Those who attended certainly appreciated the opportunity to learn and pledged to spread the word back in their home countries. After I return to my country, I make presentation to my colleagues in my job. Um, this training I would say it's very, very, very important for me as a port state control officer in the sense that um, this has become a very big issue. And coming from my region, uh, we haven't had the chance to have an in-depth knowledge about whatever is going on. Right now, I have had a very serious knowledge about how to carry on the sampling and then analysis. And um, hopefully I'm going to take this knowledge back and then um, spread it around my other colleagues. And then 
we will use it as a guide to form uh, a basis to set up our national system for checking uh, ballast water in general. Most of our work uh, is bureaucratic more or less. So once you go to ballast water sampling and collection, so you are going to the field and uh, there is more uh, interaction with the environment, let's see. So instead of protecting the environment from the office, you are really protecting it while working hand in hand with other people, uh, touching the marine water, seeing the uh, living organisms, either phytoplankton or zooplankton. And uh, by that you make you may understand better what ballast water is talking about, what are the importance of those species, how, um, how there uh, might be their impact on the environment, whether negative uh, or positive. As we are moving quickly towards the implementation of the convention, we believe this training is going to be a useful tool for our member countries to implement the convention and especially the uh, compliance monitoring and enforcement aspect of this convention. We at the Jeff UNDP IMO Globalis Partnership Program are very pleased to see that over the course of 15 years we have reached this stage where we are now able to give practical hands-on training on the implementation of this convention. Through the Globalist Partnerships Program, IMO continues to raise awareness about the problem of harmful aquatic organisms transported in ships' ballast water. And through the Ballast Water Management Convention, effectively implemented and enforced, this major threat to the global environment can be tackled.